Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm gonna show a tutorial on how I did my recording on the PC. As you can see, I'm on Open Broadcast Software. All you have to do is just search up OBS, and it'll pop up with a well the website. And it'll pop up with well Open Broadcast Software, then index, and then click on that, and this should bring you to here. Click on this button. I don't know about these, it's something completely different, you can read it uh, here, he yeah here, but this is what I'm using right now, so use, click on that and it should, well, when it's done, it should bring you to something like this. As you can see, there's just a conception of them all, so, uh, yeah, I'll keep that up, oops, there you go, sorry, there. so, as you can see, um, it nothing. There will be nothing like this here. It will just be. There will be nothing here or here. It will just start recording, or actually, it will be preview and start recording. So what you want to do is go on settings, change the general thing, coding. Uh, okay, so I can't show you that, which is annoying. But when you do click on broadcast settings, it should. It will be on live stream. Go the. <laughs> change it to file output only and then change where you want all your videos when you've finished doing it where you want all of them so make, probably make a new folder explaining it all then as you, as you go on video this is what you can copy all the things I'm using right now and yeah so this is my headset that I'm using uh, uh, yeah so uh, okay and okay <laughs> I shouldn't really be doing this so default and this is well this ah this is my microphone that is the thing that records so I think that should change into a gal if you're using that on video but change any initial things and hotkeys so start recording as you can see so right now I could stop it or mute it or put use push to talk and then you can get advanced which I don't think I've used so yeah, and then well, when if you don't click apply, then oh, okay, and it should just and they'll pop up with a message saying blah blah blah. If you want to? Okay, so now let's get to like how you actually record. Cause if you do like preview and there'll be nothing in source and scenes, it'll just pop up with a blank screen. So what you want is to right click and it'll pop up with add and game capture and I. So you'll go on so. So if, if you're using a game capture like an Agato, it'll pop up here, and you can use whatever. So, so yeah, so do whatever there. And then, well, but of course, I'm not using one, so I don't need it. But if you don't have an Agato, that's fine. You could just click on monitor capture, which I'm using right now, as you can see. And there's not real fancy to it. You can use if you have multiple monitors, which I don't. And yeah, and then well, what you want to do is make a scene. So, pardon me. <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. But so, you got then you got a scene which it will result in. Well, it will result in giving you this image, I think. So, well, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And then, um, if you want to add something like if I add text, uh, like oh, so I just say. So if I want you to, if I want that on there, double click on colors. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. There you go. And then so I want a nice blue or something. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, boop, boop. There you go. So um, if I look carefully, I should find it. There you go. And then you can go click on edit scene so you can move it about, make it bigger, huge if you want. But usually, what I do, make it nice size and squeeze it in the corner. So yeah, that should be it. And see if you need any help with this, put in the link. No, not link. What am I talking about? Comments. And yeah, that should get you working. For if you need some, just start some start videos getting out there. One of the things I've figured out when using this, because of course, I am. Um, yeah. Well, I was whatever um when you're using the monitor 
and if you go on a game which is full screen it will pop it will come up with nothing on your thing so I haven't figured out anything to fix that though um so I th I've used I've tried I've used window capture and that works but not really well so if I go on to that see it doesn't really work as well so we get rid of that it doesn't really work as well so um I don't know how to use open broadcast software to do full screen games I think they work for games that don't require full screen because it's a monitor so you still want so if you still got the outline like that pops up with this and then the X button and all that in the corner I think then it should still work I think don't quote don't quote me on that but I hope I don't know um, tell me if there's a way to fix that with the monitor and it'd be able to capture full game full screen games put that in the comments because that would be really useful for me so and if there's a way to get around it and actually do so yeah tell me if there is and well I'll see you guys later bye bye